Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Septech. And you'll be happy to know I um got at least part of Pneumatic Craft to work properly. Um obviously I got a bunch of stuff made. I made what a lot more compressed iron SM in the resource box upstairs. Made some compressed blo iron blocks because it was simple to just toss blocks in there. Um things do seem to just spawn in there though. I didn't know that. I had a couple iron stuff and they're just sitting there while the thing was unpressurized and eventually they were gone so I assume they despawned. I didn't think they would though but I got the safety valve to work right so if you look at it without anything in your hand it'll tell you the redstone level and the threshold um, it starts off at 7 or 7.5 or something which is obviously way too high because it blows up at like 5 to 6 or something um, but you have to apply redstone to it to lower it, right? I applied six redstone and it's down to 4.5, which is just under explosion radius, right? And I did that by just using a redstone clock. And down here is where you change the power from 15 to less. You just need to put six. Seems to work. If you put, um, I think it's, yeah, it goes up down by half a, pressure um per redstone so it starts off at 15 if you don't want to use a clock you can just use a lever and then just stretch out a string of redstone about seven pieces i think uh, my bad eight i'm not sure how you would count it um but it's eight points less than the 15 it starts off of so that's how you get that and what happens is when this is running I'll waste some coal to do it. It'll power up and power up. And then when it hits the 4.5, this thing opens up and just lets out steam. So in theory, it should never be able to go above that. Although in practice, I guess it still can. That's why I put it at 4.5 instead of just 5. Because um, sometimes, like, a two ticks of the pressure things will hit at the same time, and it would take it above the level and blow everything up. So, yeah. The main reason I did this, though, is... I mean, I blew up my pipes a couple times, so it was annoying. But the main reason I did this was because eventually I want to get... Um... Air compressor? No. Just type compressor. Um... So you can make pressure with lightning bolts. That's not what I wanted, though. Uh, flux compressors. This thing takes RF and turns it into compression. Um, it has, like, a really low efficiency, but RF is easily automated and unlimited. So there's no real issue. And that would make endless stuff. So I just have it running all the time for whenever I need it. Okay, it's up to 4.4, and this thing should pop open an event any second now. Oh, you can see the air com shooting out there. Oh, that made a whistling sound, but I can't really hear it. But yeah, so that is good. And the other thing important about that is you can't just turn this off, right? When you do this, it does turn this off, right? It's not running anymore, but the thing that was currently burning will keep burning. And unfortunately, charcoal blocks actually burn quite a bit so this will produce quite a bit more pressure after you stop so until you get um, the better furnaces that are instantly on and off like the kinetic furnaces and whatnot or the, maybe the advanced that don't run on fuel you can't stop it immediately with this so this as you can see is letting out all this excess air and is saving me a lot of trouble so yeah unfortunately I couldn't find any way to make that redstone single other than a clock I looked at a redstone emitter and a bunch of other things, but none of them seemed to really do it well, so whatever. Um, I got silicone too, which that was a pain. Um, by the way, this thing here has this option here of pickup mode matching. 
which means if you have like one cobblestone in here, it will automatically take all cobblestone out of your inventory and put it in here, which is nice when you're mining like I was. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, here's the silicon. I got a stack and almost two stacks, right? And that's from one deposit. The problem is, is I get like three to four pieces per ore because of my luck three pick. Um, so it was actually really bad. Uh, I did get an assorted quartz vein, which not only gives you nether quartz, but apparently the black quartz too, which is nice. Because otherwise you have to hunt around the beneath dimension for that stuff. And certus quartz, but I didn't need that in their little slightest. I looked in the um, twilight forest area, so I've vein mined a couple redstone ores I found underneath a hill thing. Um, but yeah, here's a, I got five silicon here, and that's from all the surface samples I found, right? Unfortunately... I don't know if it's generation is messed up, but um, I'd find the silicon surface on the surf samples on the surface, and then I couldn't find the silicon at all in the chunk, even with the ore finder here. Um, the I, I looked in three different chunks: two in the uh, twilight forest, and then um, well, I guess four, two here, and the two in the twilight forest. I couldn't find it for anything, which is really odd because. Silicon is supposed to spawn uh, 24 to 48, and a lot of the Twilight Forest is like 40 or 50 or below. So, like, it basically should have been at surface level practically, um, or easily find with the Warfinder wand, but I couldn't find anything. When I finally found one here, um, it's because I've practically vein mined the entire chunk up from surface to like Y20. And I eventually found it in one tiny little corner of the chunk, and all the other ore stuck out on the other chunks. It was barely in the current chunk, and it didn't have surface samples on the surrounding ones either. So it was really odd. Um, and there was only like 10 of blocks of it or so. Um, like I said, if you have luck on it, you get, you know, three or four pieces of silicon per block, but it's a pretty small deposit it generates poorly i guess inside the chunk and i guess caverns or open air or anything else can nullify it so you'll get the sample on the surface but have nothing beneath so overall it was rather disappointing um i also messed around a lot with my mob farm with the creeping moss as you might have seen when i first loaded up it was on there and i gotta say the creeping moss is sort of a disappointment um you can change biomes, right? But pretty much all the biomes I have access to anyway don't really do much. Um, the basic biomes are basic, right? You get a lot of random stuff. Um, it's, none of the twilight biomes seem to work. Um, I'm guessing you might have to be a cert below a certain Y level for them to work because that's the way the biomes work in Twilight Force. But other than that, they didn't seem to work at all for here. And I'm at like, you know, Y level 60 or whatever. Um, the hell and nether dimension ones. The hell one gives me pigmen and uh, spiders. The, the little nether spiders. The fire spiders. And the torrid wastelands and soul sand place or whatever. I can't remember. Just gives me tons of spiders. That's why I got all this. Just spiders after spiders and um, skeletons. Nothing special. Um, lots of nitro creepers. So I only got four gas tiers in each chest. So like one time out of all that I got a gas somehow or gas tier somehow. Um, lots of these uh, strings as I said. Lots of this armor now. Uh, mostly from just regular plains biome is what I set it back to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm in the end because it's outside of my farm. Um, you know, but the planes just gives you random stuff. Lots of armor. Shield, that's the first. Um, lots of iron swords and iron, all that good stuff. I melt in my crucible. But in terms of, like, I couldn't find anything that gave blaze powder. Nothing at all. But if you want to see something that's cool, I uh, put a viewing platform up here. I wanted to... Uh, use the nether quartz but unfortunately or the quartz glass 
the quartz glass is spawnable. Like, it w I'd have to light this area up, which would defeat the purpose of my viewing platform. Um, but the seared glass, enemies can't spawn it, so I can stand up here and watch and keep an eye on what spawns in here to a degree. And one of the things I did learn was never put swamp biomes um, of any kind in there or anything that can spawn Shogolos. Because uh, they put their sludge down and it breaks my farm. Um, after like one or two layers of sludge, uh, enemies don't get pushed by the fans and they get stuck in there. So yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't know how you could possibly have a farm work with Shogolos in it really. Other than maybe if you flood it with water so they're floating because their sludge wouldn't cover the water? I, I don't know. But, so yeah, that's that's just basically infinite gold and iron. More iron than the gold because I just don't have that much of a need gold. But I got the silicone I, and I got... I didn't do the other two ores because they're in the nether. I haven't explored that yet. Um, I made a bunch of plastic of the other colors. Um, most of it's in my chest here. Which is getting really full by the way. I've been taking out some of these swords. I made a bunch of fries too just for the heck of it. But I got so much of this plastic and hopefully I can build everything I need. Because now... We built the transistors and all that other stuff last time. Uh, oops. Yeah, we got the transistors, MTP, CP. All right. Now, what do we need to do? I think our circuit board assembler was what we were working on. Printed circuit board. Unassembled PBCB or PCB. I made that. Hmm. I wonder. Can I put this in like sunlight or something? I mean, it went all about how it doesn't despawn. Of course, I don't even know what time of day it is. Hmm. So that's sunlight. I swear there was an easier way to get these to work than building this UV light thing, but let's try that. So what the? So I'm pretty sure the UV light thing when I looked at it. Okay, took a PCB blueprint. Just took a circuit, the immersive engine. Okay, that that that's more doable. Uh, and I got lots of green powder now. Iron grits. Wow. Let me see this. No. Wait, is that a tiny sliver of progress? Okay. Let's leave that there while we work on this anyway. Just to see if it does work that way. So, uh, blueprint, I think it's over here. Molds, okay, we don't need that blueprint. We need the one with parts. We're gonna need green dye. Do I not have more here? Oh, there we go. And glass. Oh, in our tubes. Oh, we're going to need some of that plastic for the first time ever, too. And the copper plates. Do I have copper plates in here? Or 
bronze, copper. Probably should have left at least one in there, but I need them all. So this should work. Oh, glass. Been making some glass. Should be. Oh, it's doing under dust right now. I had it auto pouring glass a little bit. But I guess it ran out and went back to under dust. Okay, so. That's not the blueprint we want. Can we find the right blueprint? Where did I put it? The very good question. Ah. I hate my base sometimes. I really want to sort of make it aesthetically freezing, but you know, I'm struggling. I spent two and a half hours going for that silicon earlier. Um, finding a chunk with it in there is difficult, and then I took forever to, you know, search the chunks that it was supposed to be in, but I couldn't get it. Uh, insulating glass. Oh, crap, I didn't make that. Glass. Oh, I don't have the iron grit, do I? No. Okay, I could get a couple pieces I think I have here, but I am going to make a lot of it. Now, I also got some iron ore while I was in the Twilight Forest. I just vein mined a lot of one of those hollow hills now that I vein miner. It was so much easier. And there's so much resources there when you can vein mine. Okay, so this should make iron grit and some chance at nickel too. I got one nickel already. How slow do I have the dropper going? Um, let's see if there's anything over here to look at for now. I think I just emptied this and most of it's graphite, yeah. And this still has all of its goodies. It's low on iron, surprisingly. I don't know if I can use, I can't use grit, I have to make any ingots. I think I can turn grit into ingots in there though. But yeah, it's cool that you get nickel out of iron ore. Because nickel's fairly rare in the ore generation. The I can't remember if it's something that drops on its own or is it a chance drop at another ore chunk, but it's a pain. And you use a lot of nickel. Oops, not what I need to do. Um, yeah. There we go. I can sort of shift click more in there. I got four pieces. There we go. Eight. Not as great, but I don't know if this is good for like stopping light levels or anything. That'd be cool. So we got six circuit boards. I don't even know if that's enough because a lot of those recipes took like two. But let's see. PCB blueprint. I need a blank blueprint. How do you do that? Okay, wait, wait, I got those. Now I can hit the wrong button. So I need plastic. That's very interesting. I didn't know you could make blank blueprints. I wonder what those are good for other than this. Oh, architect table. I don't have a landmark though. Ah, just blue dye and redstone. I am almost curious what the architect table does. If it like auto builds buildings, that'd be pretty cool. But we need to go over here. 
and plastic. Yeah, that was looking for. Oh, by the way, the email I said I think it was the last episode. It's so hard to remember when I spent so long between episodes. Um, I thought you could. Uh, Melt this down. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to shift it. That's how you get in there then. There we go. Not making 192 of it, but whatever. Um, I thought you could put this in here and melt it down, right? But unfortunately, you can't. You can only melt down this type of plastic if you make it. But I did sort of automate it a little better. Um, I have this hopper from this chest feeding dyes in here so as they run out more will come in unfortunately for whatever reason this thing only seems to put out things at like 150 or it splits it between this and that one or something but the plastic the molten plastic refills really slow like because it goes by thousands or 500s or whatever to make plastic and it fills so slow that after you use the initial 16 it takes quite a while but it's still nice it's basically automated. If I put it on always make that one color, I can keep it going for quite a while. I don't know what colors I need the most yet. I know green, red, and blue are pretty popular. But that's all. Okay, so. Put those in there. I guess. Oh. Are they no room? There we go. And we'll put the planks back up here as we need them. Which was the goal originally. I need one of those smart chests so that it keeps the uh, things locked. Okay. PCP blueprint. What else is it good for? Just this. Okay, so we have pressure tubes somewhere. Oh, by the way, it only works on one card at a time. Like, if you have it set to auto extract, it won't do one from a, one of the pages you're not turned to. So, that's one of the reasons to have uh, the larger versions. I had more than one. Is it in my. I must have put it in some chest somewhere. But that one's good enough. Wow, I don't really read some land. Okay, now. I know I have glowstone. I thought I had some lamps, though. So. Yeah. I have read some lamps. I stole them from that tower. Guess I never silk touched an actual glowstone though. Forgot about all these stupid swords. I shall never need a sword ever again. Okay. Redstone lamps. UV light box. Um, you can empty PCBs to UV light. It happens in such a way that only part of the PCB gets exposed. If this happens in such a way, I don't know. But yeah, let's go outside. Um, supposedly that item did not get to spawn, so we're gonna see if sunlight worked at all. I guess not. It just looked like a tiny sliver of progress was there, but I guess not. So we need to put this UV light somewhere. I don't know what it does, how it works. Um, trying to think of some place to put it. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, I need my pick. Oh, it is right there. Oh, by the way, I have uh, gas meat. I just cooked a bunch out of my mom for me to make space. And you get levitation too while you eat it so you can fly for a little bit it's kind of cool it endlessly pushes you up you can't go down 
but it's kind of cool. And as long as you have slime boots, it's safe. And you can eat it when you're not hungry, so it's a good way to build up your protein if you don't want to wait for eating. Sort of like the junk food. Okay, so UV light. Okay, so you just put it in there and it works, and it's off pressure, I guess. I didn't know it took pressure. Um, why a light takes pressure is, oops. That is very odd. I mean, how does light work off of pressure? world may never know. Okay, so. The only thing is I gotta make sure. Um. Ooh, I don't, do I have any over here? So I'm gonna say I don't have excess tubing. Huh. So yeah, I'm gonna have to plug it in like right next to it because I don't have an extra tube just yet. And I don't feel like running up to make more. But yeah, I have to be able to get back here to turn this on and off and to fill that up. Um, let's put it right there. Oh, I can't. Huh. Okay. It did not attach. Oh, some redstone. That was when I was messing around with manual redstone to turn off the safety valves, but I couldn't get it to work. Huh. Ah. It has to attach to that one spot, maybe? Okay, do I have any extraneous? I think I might have to make some tubes just because I can't seem to get this to attach on its own. Um, pressure tubes. I had so many of them, but they're usually the first thing to blow when you have a mistake of overpressurization. The safety valve, by the way, would work easily if you had um, a higher pressure system. That way you wouldn't have to... That kind of almost looked like it connected, but it's not. There we go. So is that on? Is that pressuring? Or does it only come out the one side? There we go. So it's got pressure. Information. Um, with this machine, you can expose empty PCBs to UV light. If this happens in such a way, you only get part of the PCB gets exposed. So the copper traces when etched. Okay, so you want to get all the way up to hundred percent. And now all I have to do is make etching acid and. This will work as it's supposed to theoretically. Wow, this is fairly slow. Um, redstone behavior. Emit redstone. 80. 100%. That's pretty cool. Um, I 
I guess I could turn it off automatically if you had a furnace that shut off instantly as opposed to like what I got, which is it'll shut off when it feels like it. So while that's going, let's see if we can make the acid. Etching acid. two of them so a bucket of water oh yeah this is what I saw the green plastic rotten flesh yeah vanilla mob drops plus a green thing so we will just steal it right out of our mob farm the easiest way to get the spider eyes and everything else so zombie flesh gunpowder Just need water and then um what's a spider eyes? Huh, can't very many spiders in this one. Well, luckily we have our other mob farm. It's got spiders to spare. Because the giant spider thing you spawn in the nether when I had it set to hell and stuff. And then those break up to be three baby spiders and yeah. Oh by the way. This is really amazing for this pickaxe, by the way. I, I broke it down to like two durability several times, vein mining that chunk. Um, when it has XP in it, um, it basically regenerates like three durability per tick just from the mending moss. And then there's like another one for the ecological that actually kicks in occasionally, so I get four. And it's pretty cool, but it basically repaired the 1400 dam or durability, or whatever, in almost no time at all. But it does suck up the XP when it does so. Okay, so now this is the hard part. There's a fish down here somehow. Oh, because of that. Let's check this first, real quick. How fast this is doing? So I would say it's about. 100 seconds or so a minute or two um so we want is etching acid so what we're gonna do over here I have to swap this again creative contains etching there we go so stuff doesn't just shoot out now we gotta put allows on this one too it's ridiculous um spider eyes flesh and unfortunately we have to remove something else to put this other one in um all we need is the bucket so we need a bucket of water i have at least one right yeah. Kind of would like to have more than one, but. Oops. By the way, these tubes are great um, because they leave enough space that I can click on this. If you put a hopper in front of it, it's really hard to get beyond the hitbox of the hopper to get the item in face. Uh, we'll take off the blocks. So you don't need it just yet. But only having nine filters is kind of ridiculous. So that should be everything because it just uses green plastic. Gunpowder dye. Oh, did I put the rotten flesh? I think I did the spider eyes for sure. Rotten flesh, spider eyes, but no gunpowder. Okay, so I do need to take off another thing. Um, Take off the cyan, I guess. Basically, you need one of these or two of these for every major thing you need one just for making um compressed iron basically from iron because oh there's a couple recipes that use compressed iron so you can have the filter on there all the time but other than that you basically want um the compressed iron to be kept as a resource to make stuff the water bucket huh. I 
Will the water bucket not go through? Because it's an item or a fluid? Oh, that's retarded. Or maybe it's because it's this full. Oh, that's one thing I did notice. If this gets messed up, sometimes I just turn up down here for some reason. But they get shot out in here. Yeah, those are sitting in there waiting for pressure. That is on. 73%. So that's going up pretty fast. This is slowing this down a little bit. Okay, so the spider eyes went in and dropped all my pressure by quite a bit. Now can I put my bucket in there without... There we go. Okay, I was worried there for a second. Um, my lava buckets, starlight buckets. Thought I had extra buckets. I guess not. Not that I have a water source that's infinite anyway down here. If I need to make a lot of this etching acid, I probably will eventually. I don't know why I put 64 of those things in there, to be honest. That was a very dumb thing to do when I don't have 64 buckets of water. I also have to break it. Um, should have extra buckets somewhere. Oh, uh, they're all used up for the oil and stuff. Well, here's another water bucket at least. And we can do this. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, it's got water in it. My barely used, but put up there for convenience thing, other than leather making. It's not got you know, rain access here or anything, but still. So that's there. Let's see, do we got one yet? No. Okay, so it's working on getting enough pressure to put the item in there. Wow, these might despawn while it's waiting. Yeah, never put so many in at once, guys. It's it's not a good idea. The pressure you need to push the 64 stack in is kind of a po disappointing if you have to wait for it. So let's check our uh, thing. 98. I wonder if it blows up if it's ex overexposed. I wonder why it says it does not despawn. Like, I guess maybe you can throw it in the sunlight and it will do it slowly. Ultra slowly. But I don't know. But we got one that's good. Um, okay. It can take five minutes to make one. Wow. So luckily, I guess you only need one pool of etching acid. So, do we got one yet? Oh, it's still got to get the green one that's in there. Dang. Yeah. Silly me. I really screwed that up. Well, let's put these stupid swords in here. Okay. What else can we do while we're waiting on that? Um, when I was raining in my house. We have 
machine casings. What do those take? Any stone and a quartz and rich iron. We got that. We made that an episode or so ago. Let's make two. Because we know they'll be useful. Um, a grid. Okay. Ah, stuff for stage five. Lots of stuff for stage five. Almost everything in the scriber is stage five. It's funny how sometimes it shows you things you can't make and other times it doesn't. So we can make a controller if we had a shulker pearl. I have not found a shulker yet. And that's about it. Wow. Dump that in there. Okay, so everything is in there. Except for the buckets. Nope, still working on the plastic. Should be soon. That's like 3.5 and it goes down. Unfortunately, it's much slower when it's running another machine. Like when I had the Vortex things up there, it was slow. Wow. So we got the machine casings. Made one, but it didn't count it, I guess. So I can have refined storage or energy energistics. Storage grid, I'm pretty sure I just saw that and that was it took a shulker pearl, right? Yeah. So that's holding me back from that way. Let's try an ME terminal. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to do, the crafting or the regular. Ooh, I need an advanced crafting table. Dang, man. I really did not want to make those. So I can put some silicon in my thing, maybe, and make printed silicon while I'm waiting. Now I need an inscriber silicon press, which is made by an assembler. Or if you already have one, you can make more. Yeah. So yeah, I'm stuck until I get an assembler going. My inscriber is useless. Okay, so all that's in there. The buckets are gone through. We're all... Got our etching acids. I'm gonna turn this. Oh, I can't turn it off. So we're gonna break this though. Uh, we need our glass black. To get all those items out of there. Guess we won't oh, ever need that again though. Unless it consumes the etching acid to do this. Just put those in there as sort of resources for later. So we got this. We got our acid. Let's make a hole. Does this hurt? Now this is a question everybody asks, yeah. Yes, yes it does. Not very much though. So it's an empty PCB. Hmm. Let's back up a little bit. And I 
I don't really want to put a... Yeah, I'm going to have trouble with that. That's not going to work. Here we go. So we're going to have to put this somewhere a little more out of the way. How about down here? This thing is still off because we have a crazy amount of service cords. Oh, something's like vibrating really bad. My neighbors are such annoyances. Yeah, another one of those empty everything. Okay. Dump this in there. Oops. Oh, okay, entering progress. Wow. My iron armor is just too much. Can't see any progress on it while it's an item, though. That's unfortunate. Okay, I guess if we're gonna have our armor off, we don't need to have this hole this deep. But this mechanic is silly. I hate these drop it in the world and don't pick it up mechanics. So I was really glad that that Certus Court thing transforming the Fluix Corks really fast. Okay, so it does tell you after you pick it up at least. I can't seem to select the item though but that's cool so yeah guys I think it's gonna be end this episode um, it's gonna take five minutes and I'm waiting more for the other thing to compress and all this good stuff so catch you guys later bye